Hey y'all, this is Kevin with Corpo Terra. I just wanted to share with you something I've been thinking about for a while. Is Jupiter its own sun? And I say that because it's as volatile as what we know as our sun, our star, the closest star to us. It has the same elements as the sun, a ton of hydrogen. But the moons that revolve around Jupiter are really interesting to me. Because if Europa has the same life the Earth does, then it should be considered a planet revolving around Jupiter. And all the other moons that are revolving around Jupiter may be moons, right? Other satellites. But if we find more planets like Europa, then it, it doesn't constitute as a moon. And if it revolves around Jupiter, which that it does, then it would be as if Earth revolves around the sun. And... Here's a little board we have. The kids have already started with a circle, so we're going to continue. This is our great sun. Here we are, Earth. Yay, Earth, Earthlings, yay. Go, Earth. Here's some blue. Okay. And here are the other planets. Uh, seven. We'll do nine just for the heck of it. I can't get, I can't get rid of you, Jupiter. All right, Pluto. All right, so we'll say this planet over here is Jupiter. Now here's our sun. All of the planets, all of our planets in our solar system revolve around the sun. But Jupiter is very interesting because it has what we think of as many moons, but are they all moons? Is it all moons, right? If Europa has life on it, then that's considered a planet. And let's say this is Europa. We'll make Europa blue, then green. And Europa and all the other possibly moons, satellites, revolve around Jupiter. But if Europa has life on it and it revolves around Jupiter, that means that Jupiter is a moon, uh, sun. Jupiter's a sun, and it has its own thing. It has, you know, um, uh, like the counterclockwise. It just revolves, right? Uh, a lot of the planets and, of course, the moon revolve around Jupiter. So it's its own sun, right? We only have one moon, but Jupiter has a lot of stuff going on. And again, it has the same elements our sun has. And then Jupiter and all of us, we revolve around the sun. And if we know there's a bigger sun out there, which we do, our sun revolves around that sun, right? Around that star. And then so on and so on and so on. And then back to this, that's like how like a hurricane goes. Mecca, people that circle around Mecca go around in a circle. Um, a lot of stuff in nature goes out of a, sucker, uh, a nautilus shell. So, I don't know. The concept of uh, Jupiter being a sun has been on my mind for a while, and thanks for listening. It's just something cool to think about, and it would put things into perspective a little more. How, you know, we just all run in a cycle, we live in a cycle, and if, uh, if Jupiter has a lot of activity rotating around it, and it's its own sun, then life gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and... Uh, you know, until we can't see it and that whole concept with physics. It's just something fun to think about. And again, I appreciate you and have a good one.